This, this is gonna be beautiful. Just look at this. My house and other house. <laughs> we just have Seth and Rhea. Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, we avenged our old man by taking out Kronia, and we also unlocked Sublime uh, Creator Sword on Byleth. And in this episode, I'm gonna finish recruiting all of these students. The only student left to recruit is Ferdinand, and I just need to get my Heavy Armor rank up. And I believe this is like the final exploration month. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby thought to have died in the fire has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Setteth enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Rhea and Sedeth were not their usual selves. What happened to Teach that's questionable? And what really awaits at the Holy Tomb? The way they were acting, 
I don't think they have any plans of sharing that information. Okay, so Claude heard that conversation. And we have birthday of Hilda. Actually, I have not gone to a uh, tea party with Hilda. I have not gone to tea party with not a lot of like Golden Deer students because I was too busy um, going to tea parties with the students I wanted to recruit. Wow, thanks for inviting me. Whoa, you've got my favorite tea. Okay, let's give oh, her some tea. Wow. So she's pretty lazy, um, and she's pretty friendly as well, so the answers have to be related to that. Uh, reliable allies. Yeah, that's probably it. Monastery mysteries. Uh, books you have read recently. Things you find romantic. Uh, probably that. I don't think she's the type to read books. Okay. Perfect recipes. Uh, I don't know about that. The library's collection, once again. Don't think she's the reading type. Relaxing at sauna, probably relaxing. Yeah, that's definitely it. No matter what happens in this crazy world, I know I'll be safe if I stay by your side. Yeah, good nod. Okay, that's the perfect tea time. There we go. This is lovely. At first, I thought like Hilda wouldn't be a character I would like that much. No boring lectures, okay? <laughs> I was about to finish what I just said, but honestly, she has grown on me. She's such a good unit, and she can be pretty reasonable and intelligent at times uh, in the story oh, mode. And she cares about like people around her. Uh, if you hear anything, it's not my stomach rumbling. Just so you know. She definitely likes to talk a lot. Okay, let's end this then. Thanks for the tea. I hope you'll invite me again. Yeah, probably next year. When you have your birthday, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Hanneman's birthday. Okay, let's definitely host a tea party for the old man. Um... Let's go with this. I have two of those. Works better for me, but I am willing to compromise for today. My, but you have exquisite taste in tea. This is one of my favorites. I always try to keep some around. I mean, I just find these things lying around in the monastery. I don't know. Delightfully warming. So one thing I've noticed is that a lot of students preemptively uh, try to drink the tea and they kind of burn their lip off maybe. They just like have a sudden movement but I think the professors and the faculty members don't really do that. Indeed. Okay, reliable allies, a dinner invitation, mighty Delicious. weapons. He's more of a studious type of uh, person so... Not mighty weapons. Uh, this is wrong. Oh, this is right. Okay. Like, nothing from that option seemed like right to me. First crushes? No, he's definitely older than that. School days? Yeah, I mean, he's so old, he might be nostalgic. A word of advice? I mean, he's the kind of person who would give everyone the advice. Yeah. Because a lot of old people try to remember what they did in their school days. Cute monks. Okay, that's definitely not it. Gifts you'd like to receive. He's not really the romantic type, though. Dreamy nights. Yeah, this is the easiest one. The Ashen Demon. What an unbelievable title. Knowing who you are now. What? That's the title he has given me? I could sigh, that that would be rude. Nod. I don't know. I'll nod. 
Okay, that's not right. Let's observe him. Uh, drink some. Professor! You don't. Something wrong with my monocle? It is a custom made piece, yet still problematic sometimes. Will you drink some? Will you drink some? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you saying yeah that many times? Okay, let's end the tea party. Thank you for a wonderful time, Professor. Okay, two birthdays in a week. And now we move on to the exploration day. I'm gonna save here because I can promote some of my units, but they probably do not have like 100% chance of passing. I know as much that Hilda has got 100% chance of passing. Okay, obtain the certification for Enlightened 1 class. A new path to tread. That looks really good. I definitely like that costume a lot. It's amazing. Okay, so let's go on with the certifications. Hilda definitely can become a paladin. 100% chance. Let's go with that. The exam is so easy, she doesn't even have to look at her papers. <laughs> Three resistance, okay. That's good. Uh, who else has 100%? I don't think anyone. Ingrid? I don't think she has the requirement. 44%. Yeah, this is just... I have to get extremely lucky for this to happen. I'm definitely going to be saving beforehand. I can also promote um, Lorenz over here. To a dark bishop. 66% chance. So, I'm gonna be saving because I do not want to waste my advanced seal. Definitely don't want to do that. And now that I've saved, I can try the RNG and see if I can pass with Lorenz. And then at last we'll try with, uh, with Ingrid. Yes, he has passed. So whenever you see the musical notes over the head of the student, that means they have passed. And if you do not see that, then rip. Was there any doubt? There was definitely 44% chance of the doubt. Okay, we got Lorenz then. Uh, Claude. Raphael. Raphael is just one level away. I have so many units who are just one level away from being into an advanced class. Linhart is also here, becoming a uh, bishop, 69. Uh, so you know that's definitely going to be working out. So let's just save before I do any of the certification. Uh, let's go to our boy, Linhart. Okay, Linhart, please pass this. The 69% chance of you passing. That should be guaranteed, right? No, he failed. Rip. Okay. Looks as if I failed. Huh. Yeah, very keen observation. Okay, let's uh let's just soft reset because I know I cannot get the RNG right this time for Linhart. I'm gonna see if I can get that for Ingrid and make her into a Wyvern Rider. Um the thing about Ingrid is that she doesn't have very good strength growth rate, and Pegasus uh knight class doesn't really help her with her strength at all. So I wanna make her a Wyvern Rider. So that I can fix a bit of her strength. I mean, my Ingrid isn't really strength screwed. She has pretty good strength. Uh, for Ingrid, at least, for the growth rate she has got. So I cannot go with Loren- Uh, I cannot go with Linhart. Um, Leone is done. Uh, Dorothea doesn't need it. Felix, Ash, they are just very, very close. Yeah, it seems only, uh, Ingrid is left. So I'll go with the Wyvern Rider class. I really doubt I can clutch this one out. Like, I have really, really big doubts. She's already nodding her head. Yeah, she's not passing. 
Next time. Okay, at least she has the confidence. Yeah, definitely next time because I'll train you up in the axis. At least like 60% plus chance. That would be much better. So yeah, I do not want to waste my advanced seal. So soft resetting is the way to do that. Because like advanced seals are really expensive. Why would I waste my money? Okay. He doesn't get any kind of new tricks on the loading screen after Enlightened 1 class. Which is a shame. Okay, so we cannot have certification for anyone then. Uh, let's go to the item shop. Let's buy some more advanced seals. We definitely need those. Uh, let's... Replenish the battalions. We definitely use quite a bit of them. I did sell the extra large bullions which I got from the paralog uh, before, if you guys saw those videos. So let us explore now. Yeah, there's really not much I can do right now with the certifications. So pretty much everyone went for the exploration. I cannot hear Sothis' voice anymore. She did tell us that uh, we're not going to be able to... Okay, Hanuman would like to speak with you. Uh, okay. How are you doing, Professor? Would you care to join me for a cup of tea? It occurs to me that whenever we chat, I have a tendency to pester you with my questions and theories about your history. It seems only fair to speak on the topic of myself for once. And perhaps you might feel more positively inclined toward my research if I shared my own story. I am quite pleased to hear you're interested. Yes, quite pleased. Well, I suppose I should begin at the beginning, eh? I was born into a noble house of the Empire. Not a large house, mind you, but noble all the same. Our land holdings were small, but our bloodline was quite strong. So, as you can imagine, there were many of us in the family who carried the power of crests. I myself bear a minor crest. Our family's abundance of crests may be part of the reason I've been interested in the topic since I was just a boy. I dedicated myself to my studies, and after years of effort, I became lead crest scholar at the Empire's largest research institution. I had only Imperial blood, and thus Imperial crests, at my disposal in the Empire. So I came to Garrick Mock and devoted myself to my research during my time as a professor. My progress is slow, but with each revelation, I move ever closer to the answers I have sought for decades. Your cooperation as the bearer of the Crest of Flames ensures my research will continue to advance. In fact, it may bring me ever closer to the goal of uncovering everything there is to know about Crests. I do hope you shall continue helping me advance in this field of study. Together, we will solve the mystery of your Crest of Flames and our world will be the better for it. Shall we proceed? My lab instruments are fully prepared. I have a great number of tests I'm excited to carry out. No, no, don't worry. They won't hurt one bit. Hanuman is definitely someone uh, who I meme a lot, but I really respect him. Because he's pursuing something that he has passion for, and he's pretty reasonable. Um, now, if only he can get some magic and some speed growth, that would be really nice. You look so different. You're still our professor in there, right? Did anything else change besides your hair and eyes? Are your arms bigger? How do your abs look? Really? You gotta teach me how to do that. <laughs> Raphael. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go to the Bernadetta is in there. Okay, of course she's always in there. Uh, yes. Let's take our harvest. 
Okay, uh, red flower seeds. Quite a lot of seeds and flowers. That's pretty good. Uh, let's plant some things then. Angelica seeds. Ooh, this is definitely pretty amazing. This is three star. Okay. We'll have two of them. And let's have some other high rating stuff with them. Uh... Four star rating, one is this, okay. I'll not have red flower seeds. I'll have... I'll have two of that. I guess I'll go with one of them. Let's cultivate. Okay, so we're done. Okay, is there any item here? Beside the crates or something? No. Okay, thank you lady for the answer. I guess there's no item beside the crates. Oh. Wild game, okay. So we can find a couple of uh, dropped items here, as you can see. Grounding charm. You're so strong now. I'm starting to understand why you were appointed professor. I thought I was stronger, but I still have such a long way to go. Oh, I will. I still plan on beating you someday. Okay, let's give him the yeah, lost that's item. Definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, professor. Okay, that's amazing. And you can find more of that. So Mercedes and Annette were standing here. Um, so Annette is definitely more studying type, and she also went to the that's School that. of Sorcery. Petra and Ferdinand were sitting over here. Maintenance oil, so that's definitely a Ferdinand. And that is a Petra, for sure. So we can cook something now. Or we could go ahead and get the faculty training first. Let's go to Gilbert, and let's get the faculty training. With the heavy armor. I also have a lost item that I have to give to him. Sometimes, I find myself thinking I should leave Garrick Mark and return to my home, where I should have been all alone. Ignore me. I'm sorry. It's a silly thing. An old man's ramblings and nothing more. I hear that Lady Rhea will accompany you for this month's task. She's the pillar that supports the hearts of Fodland's people. Her safety is paramount. I hope there are no complications. Alright, uh, let's get the... Lost item first. Ah, thank you for bringing me this. And I guess I could also equip the... The knowledge gem. Maybe that helps with the... Uh, with the skill growth. I don't know. I hear that Lady Rhea, she's Worth a try. So let's get the faculty training and... In heavy armor. Okay. That's pretty good. Leonie's over here. God, she's gonna be mad at me. Probably. That's what she always does. Uh, let's go to the second floor and let's talk to Rhea and also take the faculty training from Aloise. In heavy armor, of course. Excuse me. You haven't a thing to worry about. You have been gifted the power of the goddess. Furthermore, you have overcome the death of your father, Geralt. And you have destroyed countless of our wicked foes. I am proud. So very proud of who you have become. <laughs> Once we finish the ritual at the Holy Mausoleum, all will be well. Okay, if you say so. And now let's go and talk to Alois. Uh, Captain. Oh, Professor. How long have you been standing there? I didn't see you. I was just sorting through Captain Gerald's belongings. I 
Haven't made much progress. I keep finding things that bring back memories. Clearing out this room of his belongings again, it's... It's not easy. Makes sense. He was also pretty attached to Geralt. Um, definitely much more attached than Leone, I guess, because Geralt is pretty much the one who changed his life, in a way, by appointing him the squire. And let's get the heavy armor training, and that is gonna be D+. The glory of progress. Captain. Oh, I was and now let's give him the lost item, because we can build up his motivation. Oh, I found this last month. I guess his motivation is at max. No, wait. I didn't recruit him. Oh, I was Did I? Made clearing out. Yeah, I didn't recruit him. Damn. I messed up. Oh, Professor. I will do whatever I can. Excellent. Leave it to me. No matter how small the task is, I vowed to Gerald I would help you. All right. Uh, so that is pretty amazing. I could have given him the lost item just after recruiting him, but I guess I just messed up. Uh, so let's take a look at him. He is a warrior, so that's an advanced class. He uh, he has got intermediate seal, compassion, uh, <laughs> luck plus eight. I definitely need that with how many hits I seem to miss. Rally strength, so he makes for a pretty good support unit, I would say. Knights of Seros, uh, that's, a, that's a decently strong battalion. Exhaustive strike. Okay, all remaining du durability and adds 30% of it to might. Wow, that's... That's something. So his stats are pretty good, actually. His strength is 27, which is pretty good. Uh, doesn't have much speed. Defense is also pretty good, but not the highest. So he's got proficiency in axe. That's already A rank. Brawl is B rank. Yeah. Okay, anything else we have to do? Uh, we could also talk to Dorothea. Where is she? She is all the way over there. Professor. Only Flaina is over here, okay. Yeah, she is... Well. Over here. With Manuela. Huh? Let's talk to Manuela. The Holy Tomb, huh? I've worked here for years, and this is the first I've heard of it. I mean, it does make some sense. Sort of. Something about it is still weird. I understand now why they'd build the monastery in the mountainous center of Fodlin. Although... When the monastery was built, the kingdom and alliance weren't even around yet. But look how cleverly it was placed right in the middle of the empire, kingdom, and alliance. That's weird, right? Yeah, do you think they had a time machine? I don't know. I, I think they did. Recently, Professor, I feel as though you've been a bit distant. It's like you're sort of floating above the clouds, separate from other people. And like you've got no interest at all in ever coming back down. How can I help? Hey, don't worry. I thought maybe I'd ask and see what you'd say. Very caring. Okay. Let's now... Uh, we could also take a meal with students. Let's now go and talk to Ferdinand. And ask him if he wants to join our house. Because he is the last student I need uh, to have 100% recruitment. I've already recruited Alois. I'm gonna save. Um, I'm gonna save over here, I guess. Or yeah, I'm gonna save over here. Edelgard and Hubert have been busier than usual. Constantly coming and going in and out of Garrick Mach. Perhaps they are doing something in the Empire. As the legitimate heir of the Iyer family, I have not heard anything about it. But if it were significant, I am sure my father would have told me. Okay, as you say. Let's recruit him. I have D plus in my heavy armor rank, and that is the last requirement, I think. Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? 
You have perceived my excellence. Good. Yes. But we recruited every last one of them. I would be happy to join your class if you are offered. I did it. <laughs> I thought you would say that. You will soon see how superior I am to Edelgard. Yeah, you definitely are superior in the in the fact that she will not join my house and you did. You're definitely superior in my eyes. Trust me. Okay, let's look at this. This is going to be beautiful. Just look at this. My house and other house. <laughs> we just have Sethit and Rhea. Dimitri and Edelgard. They just have their retainer. That's pretty much it. They have no friends. That is incredible. I finally did it. At first, when I began this playthrough, I didn't know uh, what it takes to recruit these students. Um, and I was definitely worried that I might not be able to recruit all of them because I'm playing on hard mode. And uh, like, the, like the auxiliary battles do take activity points in... Um, in the normal mode, it doesn't really take activity points. So that's why I thought, uh, maybe I will not be able to recruit all of them. But I was able to by building up the support, spamming them with flowers and the gifts they like. Sylvain and Felix were there last month, so it's definitely off Sylvain, I feel like. Uh, let's go to our own house. Uh, Cankerchief. Okay, so this is off uh, Lorenz. He was standing right over here. Um, we can go to the, yeah, reception hall, give that back to Sylvain. So I'm really happy that I was able to recruit all of them. I swear, it's like you're an entirely different person. No, not at all. I'm just not used to it. It really suits you though. I really wonder what he would say to Violet if she was female. <laughs> I'm definitely interested in that. It's really good that I was able to recruit all of these students because they unlock paralogs, unlock supports, and I definitely do not want to kill any of them after the time skip. New bottle of perfume, so Lysithia was standing here. Last month, um, Hilda and Marianne are over here, okay. Uh, let's go and give this to Lysithia, who's in the class, uh, classroom of Golden Deer. Wait, this is Blue Lions. Sorry, wrong classroom. Okay, can I not run into the walls for one episode? Your hair! And your eyes! What happened to you? You didn't lose something as a consequence of gaining these powers, did you? No, I, ju I just lost my soul. Not Nothing much. Nothing much of value, I would say. I see. Well, that makes me feel better. But still, be careful. Okay. Uh, let's give her the bottle of perfume. Hey! All right, that's pretty good. Um, we can also go to the cathedral. Actually, do we have some other... Yeah, we have to give the item back to... Annette, yeah. So she's right there in the cathedral. So that definitely makes it easy for us. Um, Petra, yeah. We also have to give the item back to Petra. But we're, uh, we're going to be coming back here for the dining. So that's fine. I can also go to the marketplace and buy some things quickly. I no longer have to buy a lot of gifts because I have recruited all of them. So I don't think I need to do that right now. So I can definitely save some cash. Hello there. This let's one, buy yes. the herring bait though. I think this one, yes. Smithing stone, let's get like a lot of them because it's a really common item. I would say 40 is still a lot. Honestly, I would just go with 20. That's like the sweet spot. I think this one, yes. Uh, let's get 10 of this or four of that. It's really expensive. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think okay. I don't think anything else. I could get some tea leaves, but they are just so expensive. This one, yes. I mean, still. This one, yes. 
It should show I like what I have in my convoy. Like I do not want to buy the same tea. This one, yes. I gain. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. Um, they don't have a five-star rating. One, oh, yeah, wild game. We just found this. Nothing of value from Got this again. guy, unfortunately. Smithing stone, okay. Is there anything else? Maybe. Nope. Let's talk to gatekeeper. Oh. Greetings, professor. Nothing to report. Although, I suppose you are something to report. For a moment, I thought you were someone suspicious. Lucky for you, I am quite perceptive. It took only that single moment for me to recognize you. <laughs> the professor went out and got some new power. Yeah, you are amazing. You're breathtaking, as uh, Keanu Reeves would say. Let's go to the stable. And talk to Shamir, I believe. Yeah. People who live an inordinately long time, people whose hair changes color, and those odd heroes relics. Is Fodlan some mystical land full of inhuman creatures? You should see for yourself. I'd recommend exploring west of the Empire. Okay, so she has two items that we have to give to her. This one and this one. Okay, so that is done. Uh, yeah, we could go and give the item to Catherine. What? In our battle last month, we really cut the enemy down to size. But there are other enemies we have yet to hunt down, not least the Flame Emperor. Once we've crushed them all, we can return to our peaceful lives at the monastery. It will happen soon. I have a feeling something big is coming. Okay, nice foreshadowing. Oh, this is mine. Thanks. I'm glad to have it back. Okay. I also have to give that back to Ferdinand. He yeah, has maintenance oil. I didn't give that back to him because I thought I would recruit him first. Uh, where is my boy Cyril? I cannot see him. Okay, he's all the way over there. Uh, near the graveyard, I think. Right. Hi. Okay. Hedgehog case. So, Bernadetta was right here for once, like outside of her room. Otherwise, all of the missing items of Bernadetta, you could just find her right, like, ahead of her room. It's not even, like, hard to guess that it's hers. Hmm. Whoa. When I first saw you, Professor, with that hair color and that eye color, I thought you looked kind of like Lady Rhea. Like maybe you could be related. I like the way it looks. I wonder if I could change my hair color too. Maybe if I tried hard enough. If I thought real hard about it, I mean. All I need to do is get trapped up in a strange place and then escape, right? Just like you did. <laughs> He's so innocent. I really like him. Not the best unit, but I do like him. Um, and we could go to Bernadetta, return that. We could also go take the tournament. Yeah. Let's take the tournament for sure. Professor, please. If he hears it from you that he needs to rest, perhaps his highness will listen. He's exaggerating. He thinks my color is off and that rest will cure all. I have a headache, but that's just from lack of sleep. It's not going to stop me from completing this month's mission. The professor agrees. Please rest, at least until the task is at hand. I won't. Even if I tried, it's not like I would get any decent sleep. It would only be a waste of time. Yeah, I mean, I just recruited all of your allies, so could be a reason why you lost your sleep. Yeah, that's probably the reason why he changes so much after the time skip. We left him no friends, dude. We're just heartless monster. Uh, so house versus house magic tournament. There's a black magic tournament. So for these kinds of tournaments, you have to pick someone who has got good HP. Uh, Marianne is definitely having more HP than any of the other. Uh, Lorenz also has better HP, but the thing is, Marianne has a superior, um, superior resistance stat. 
So I'll definitely go with her. We get an advanced seal at, uh, out of this, so that's definitely pretty useful and valuable. Yeah, they barely do any kind of damage. I guess it worked out. Yeah, it's pretty easy for Marianne. Yeah, three damage, as I said. Is this a cakewalk for Marianne? Yeah, helpful in defeating her, I guess. And this guy does so little damage as well. They said house versus house tournament. We're not seeing any other house members. I guess because we recruited them. Yeah, that's probably it. Because we recruited all of the other house members. We're just seeing these generic units. Okay, so we just did semi five. Yeah, Hubert is the only one left. <laughs> we don't even need to heal. Let's flex on Hubert with this. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm really sorry that we recruited all of your friends, and now you're left alone with Edelgard. Really sorry about that. Okay, I'm just rubbing it in for these people. <laughs> Um, it feels nice to recruit everyone. Uh, we also have to go to the cathedral. Yeah, definitely have to go there. Okay, here we are. Uh, we could take the car practice. Okay, let's see. Who needs the... Yeah, Annette, definitely. I would go with her. Ferdinand, I'm gonna give... Actually, Annette is definitely someone who needs that. Dorothea, not really so much. Linhart could help because we could have some some level on him uh, with the faith magic. Flane could also help. Yeah, Flane seems like it. Yeah, we have recruited everyone. Only Dimitri, Dudu, Sethet, and Gilbert. Who else? I would like to train. Manuela is still pretty good. I think I'll go with... Flane. Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. It is so much fun to sing with others. An enlightened one class can use the magic, I believe. We have the heal magic. Okay, let's go to the advice box, counseling box. There are two notes. Okay. Let's uh, check them out. I've slept almost everywhere in this monastery, but lately I've been wanting to try sleeping outdoors. Do you know somewhere where I could sleep under the stars? Okay. That's a, that's a weird question. A chilly and ominous graveyard. I was about to s <laughs> definitely uh, suggest that. The Archbishop's uh, beloved Star Terrace. She would not allow you. She would just kick you out. A courtyard full of blooming flowers. That's probably it. It's Linhart. Yeah, thought so. Who else could be so passionate about sleeping? A professor's job seems so repetitive. It's the same thing day after day. I used to be interested in teaching, but... Now it seems it's way too boring for someone like me. That's definitely, um, Catherine. It's better than having to train every day. She, that's gonna piss her off. Each day is full of unique challenges. She just said that it's boring with teaching. I'm too busy to ever be bored. That's like, that, that seems like a arrogant answer, but it might be wrong, actually. Uh, it's right. Bingo. We got two out of two. Let's go. Okay, Moon Knight's Tale. Someone who reads tales of chivalry. So, that's Ash. Is one of his favorite gifts is tales of chivalry, actually. Uh, and he was here last month in the cathedral. So, definitely his. Needs. I don't think we have enough renown yet. Okay, so we're done with that. Uh, we have to give the item back to Annette. 
She doesn't seem like she is in the... In the cathedral. Where is she? Oh, she is just there. I'm just... I'm just not looking. Attentively, I guess. Wait, is she? What's wrong with me? Okay, Claude. Okay, there she is. I just thought she was like the generic student. Ah, professor! Sorry, this will take some getting used to. Your hair and eye color are completely different. You just don't look like yourself anymore. <laughs> of course, you're right. I'm just being silly as usual. <laughs> Okay, let's give her back the item. The lost I okay, that's not hers. Uh, yeah. Oh, that! I thought it was gone for good. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm gonna build up her motivation for the lecture. Okay, so we're done. Um. We could go to the library to return Lorenza's uh, handkerchief. He has become a dark bishop now, so I don't think I need to increase his motivation by too much. To be honest, I cannot keep up with all that's been happening recently. Monica was actually Kranya. Tomas was actually Solon. Who were these people? What about you, Professor? You are a true ally, yes? Not the most convincing answer you could have given. Still, I simply must take you at your word. And let's give you your lost item. That's gonna be building up the support. Uh, so we're done here. Uh, we could also go back to... Yeah, over here, give the lost item to our boy Ash, give the lost item to Petra, then go and dine with the students. I can't even imagine what it must be like inside the holy tomb. Well, it's probably a grave, that much is for sure, and it's likely underground. Beyond that, who knows? I can't help but wonder though, just what kind of ritual is this? Hopefully not a satanic ritual. Uh, hey. yeah, let's give you that. Hopefully the church is not planning something evil. Using our power for something or something like that. Uh, Petra is over here. Yeah. In Bridget, we have legends. Stories containing people who have a spirit living inside of them. Those spirit people have much strength. They are maybe able to fly in the air or race across the ocean. Hair that shines, and eyes that glow. They have qualities that are not unlike what you are looking like, Professor. Do not have doubt, Professor. The powers you have are like the powers of the legends. Okay. That's certainly convincing. Uh, we could also give the item back to Dorothea. Hey. Not Dorothea, Bernadetta. My bad. I mean, both of them are from Red Eagle. Not anymore, though. They are of Golden Deer now. So hungry. Oh, is that you, Professor? Sorry. I'm really not feeling well this month. Even leaving my room for dinner is just too much. It's got nothing to do with your, um, changes. So, um, don't open the door, please. Okay, she's scared of us then? I've been looking for this. Thank you so much. Wait, I forgot to give the item to Petra. What's wrong with me? Why is my brain functioning at 10%? Yeah, just talk to her, pick the option, and then give her the gift. Uh, the lost item, that is. Okay, we got that. And now let's go dine with the students. Uh, yes, this way. <laughs> Today's special. Okay. Uh, Lorenz, Raphael, Ignatz, Linhart. Definitely 
We'll need to train him up. Felix, Lenart. Sylvain, my boy. You also need some training in the riding. Manuela. That's good, Felix and Lenhart. That looks appetizing. This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. Alright, so that is pretty good. Who else do we have to take dinner to? Not dinner, actually, to lunch. Um, so we have Lorenz at full, Lysithia at full, Linhart, Caspar. These are two really important uh, units, which we have to instruct Felix as well. Um, Sylvain definitely needs it. Annette has at full. Ingrid also needs it. That's at full. Catherine, Shamir, Cyril, not really. Um, I could go with for uh, Sylvain and Ferdinand, I'm guessing. Bernadetta and Sylvain is what I'm thinking. Ash is also required to get that. Um, could go with Bernadetta and Bernadetta for sure and Sylvain. Let's hope they share some taste. Bernadetta, we have her. Nope. Bernadetta. Nope, no Sylvain. Okay, nothing here. Um, Sylvain, my boy. You don't share any taste with Bernadetta? Why is that a thing? Uh, Bernadetta likes everything. <laughs> uh, I could go with Bernadetta and uh, Ash, actually. Yeah, that's easier. Honestly. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. This looks delicious. Let's eat. So I can instruct seven students. Uh, one of them is gonna be Linhart, Caspar, Bernadetta. That's three of them. Felix, Ash. That's five. Ingrid, Annette. I think we're good to go. I could also have Ferdinand, of course. I can just give him the lost item. Um, I could take some faculty training, I guess, with the remaining three points. I have done pretty much everything, that, like, which is useful. Really weird how Ferdinand, uh, sorry, Sylvain. Doesn't share taste with a lot of people. Okay. Sylvain here with Flain, Manuela. Uh, I'll go with Sylvain. I really ship him with Dorothea, but Dorothea is not here, unfortunately. Uh, otherwise, I would be able to use that to make up the support between them. Okay. Yeah, Sylvain and Dorothea don't really share a meal, I guess. Uh, that's super unfortunate because I ship him uh, with her. Okay, we could take this again, I guess. Dorothea and Sylvain, there we go. Nice. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Okay, so now we can go and give the lost item to Ferdinand. That's the only thing left now. We could also uh, talk to the online guy and take call off our unit, which we sent. Uh, could definitely go for some faculty training, I believe, with the two remaining points. But going, like, lunch with students is definitely much better. Builds up the support. It's just such a good use of your activity points. Uh, 
Okay, let's go over here. And give Ferdinand maintenance oil. And now his motivation is maxed out. That is quite perfect. Let's end travels. 6,000 gold! That's a lot! That's a lot. That's pretty much 7,000 gold. Yeah. That is amazing. Okay, so we could send off uh, one of our units again. This time, I believe I'm going to be sending off... Uh, I think Petra is better because a lot of New York players don't really have like a flyer right off the bat. Uh, like if you're in Black Eagles or uh, Golden Deer, I believe. You don't have Ingrid. Uh, let's select Intermediate Seal once again. And let's send off. That's a lot of money. Wow. That definitely surprised me. Okay, so I think we are pretty much done. We have talked to everyone relevant who gives us the support uh, point by picking an option, that is. And we also gave all of the lost items to their respective owners. Um... I believe I will end this off with a bit of faculty training and reason magic, I believe. I believe uh, Hanuman does that. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, so reason. I have a uh, budding talent and faith magic, so I think I'll go with faith magic. Um, with Hanuman. Does he teach faith magic? I doubt. Unfortunate that still. What? Uh No, you teach reason magic. I'll have to talk to Rhea then. Rhea and Manuela probably teach reason magic. I'm guessing. Well. Not reason magic, faith magic. I... Uh no, you also yeah, you have faith magic. That's good. Uh, let's go and talk to Manuela then. She is in the common room, I believe. Yeah, so we recruited all of these students and I think we're pretty much done with everything. Just making sure. Yeah, let's go over... No, that's the... Is that the library? No. Uh, I think we're going on the right path. Yeah. Here is the common room. Well. Hey. Huh? The whole I work. I mean it. I under when the mo but mo Yeah, she has faith magic. That's pretty good. Ooh. Left that by one point. Okay, let's uh, let's just end our exploration then. Uh, we have done everything, done tournament, done dining, everything that we could. We have quite a bit of cash now. I guess I could buy some tea leaves or something. I'm guessing. Hello there. This one, yes. I don't think I, I have think ginger tea this one, yes. or this. I thank you. This one, yes. I this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I this one, yes. I thank you. This one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think Okay, we got that now. Turn soon, please. And I think we're going to be ending it off now. Look at the blue dots. We have pretty much got our people in every corner of this monastery. It's just lovely to see, I would say. Okay, now let's just end this. And now let's uh, instruct our students. Instruct manually. Yeah, we have seven activity points. Ingrid definitely needs a bit of axe rank for sure. For becoming a Wyvern Rider. Nice, we start off with a perfect. That is sick. 
Okay. Uh, Annette definitely needs some um, <laughs> reason magic, I think, to become a Gremry. Not Gremry, uh, sorry, Warlock. Yeah, that's what they are called. Uh, so we could go with her. Ash also needs a bit of help in riding and lances, I believe. Sylvan is also pretty close to having this. Wow. It's all be C plus in that. Okay, why did I go with the axes? That's not needed for becoming a paladin. I wasted. Okay. Wow. Okay, Sylvain uh got that off. Ash definitely needs some help and lances, I would say. Because that seems to be growing slower. Okay. Now Excelt and Lance. Shatter slash. Is this my true talent? That sounds really cool. Hopefully it's something useful. Okay. Uh who else? Uh Bernadetta for the she has B rank and B plus rank and the bows. She needs A rank for becoming a sniper, I believe. I will also go with the Brawl with Caspar. So some of the units who joined us late definitely need some help because they don't come with the best bases or the best uh, best ranks in their in their uh, weapons, I would say. So three more left. Uh, we've done with Ingrid. Annette definitely needs the reason magic. And she should be leveling that up hopefully soon. Bernadetta is at B+. Uh, Bernadetta definitely needs some help, I would say. Linhart is at B+, in Faith as well. Ferdinand is only at D. I mean, he only needs the riding rank to be C, I think, to become a paladin or B. I forgot. I'll go with Bernadetta. Okay, perfect. I did pretty well today. Okay, that is nice. Linhart. We could help him uh, with the with the faith magic, definitely, so that he can become a bishop. Ferdinand joins at level twenty-one with a bullion. Okay, that is good to know. So we could go with Felix, uh, Linhart, or Ferdinand. I think I'll go with uh, Linhart first because him becoming a bishop is definitely more important than anything Ferdinand can do. It is a long road. So we're done. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Group task as it comes. Um, Ash and Ferdinand. Ferdinand and Ash, you guys both need the riding rank desperately let's begin the lecture now I'd like to ask you something okay uh, art has never been my fort uh, even when I apply myself and sketch a ton I don't seem to improve much I can envision an image so perfectly in my head I mean everyone can but turning it into something physical that I feel good uh, about eludes me I don't know, talk with, uh, talk with Ignatz, he's definitely the expert here. Don't worry about the end result, just keep practicing. Imperfections in an art piece add to the charm. Focus more, um, that's pro- This is a bit rude, I don't think she likes- she would like that. I think I'll go with the first one. Because you definitely have to practice with a thing like this. That's right. Okay, the perfect answer because it increased her motivation by 50. You just have Ignatz right beside you. Why don't you ask him that? Violet definitely does not seem like someone who... Uh, <laughs> who takes any kind of interest in art. Focus on reason skill? You literally have that, but okay. Whatever you say. It is a perfect day to exert oneself. I think we can manage. Here's the result, Professor. Okay, 
500 gold. And we end off the session now. Okay. I think it's coming along. Cutting so Gale, Dexterity plus four. <laughs> I'm starting to get it. Okay. And now I'm gonna be doing the remaining paralogs, but it's gonna be in a video like different to this. Um so I do have two uh three paralogs here. So I'm going to be making videos for that and I'm going to be going right to the instruction day actually. So if you want to see the paralog videos, definitely check them out in the playlist down below. Alright, so I did the quest and also did Catherine and Asha's paralog. You might have seen a video for that in your sub boxes. Um, so let us instruct our students for uh, the last Monday of this month. So Ash is at max motivation. I'll definitely go with him and train him up in... Uh, and Lances, I guess. Riding is only at C. Yeah, so I'll definitely go with the Lances. And he's gonna get it perfect, so that is amazing. Okay. Night Kneeler. Alright. Uh, we could also go with Ferdinand. He doesn't have very high... Um, Riding rank. Never underestimate. Another oh. perfect. Okay. In I Another one. A noble. Okay. I uh, I think we could. Oh, he's not gonna reach C. Five points left to go. Um, Hanuman, I could go with them. Felix can definitely have some sword rank. Because he does want to become a sword master. Of course. I'm getting quite a bit of perfects here. Alright. Uh, Dorothea. She does have budding talent and faith magic. I have four left. Uh, I do have four students at max. Uh, Lysithia. Definitely not Lysithia. I could go with Cyril. I could go with the... Authority. And change his goal to authority, actually. Um, I could also go with Dorothea with the faith magic. Yep. That is a budding talent. I got it. Yeah, today is a really good day. It seems. Uh, so close. Learned physic now. Oh, I see. That is pretty good. Only one star needed now to have uh, proficiency in faith magic with Dorothea. Having a dancer who can also heal is just so good. Has a lot of utility. All right, two sessions left. Definitely will go with Catherine and Hanuman. For Catherine, I'll go with the reason magic. As I said, I do want to make her into a mortal savant. So. That would be nice. You're too kind. Thank you. I'm All right, Hanuman, my boy. Uh, you definitely need some reason magic. Okay, and that's pretty much it. For the gold, so I'll change that up on Cyril to Authority. I, and I think like rest of them are fine. Nothing really needed to change here. Group task, we have got Ferdinand and Ash with the writing rank. So let's begin the lecture. Professor. You literally have that. Why? <laughs> Why does this even happen? Okay, someone's birthday. Felix's birthday. Okay, that's why he came to <laughs> ask if he can change the focus. This is the first time I've seen this angle in the classroom. Let's definitely host a tea party. Why not? Um, so I have quite a lot of leaves now. Let's go with why this. Am I here? Oh, that aroma. My favorite tea. 
All right. Oh, thank you. So now, even if we miss one good answer, we can still get the perfect tea time. Oh, so that's good. This tastes good. So he's really focused about fighting and his swords. So battle yes. type answers are definitely going to be the thing. Things you find romantic. He's going to slap you if you actually pick this. I swear. The para, I'm counting on you. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's see. What? Close call, tell me about yourself. Uh, exploring the monastery. Uh, close calls. I don't think he has close calls. His enemies have close calls, actually. I'll go with this one. That's probably wrong, though. Oh, that's right. All three options seem like wrong to me yes. honestly that happens a lot of time evaluating allies things you find romantic once again he will slap you if you pick this uh word of advice i'll go with this one impressive he definitely evaluates his allies i know it's important to take a break but if you rest too long your muscles wither praise blush chat I think this is the safe option. I want to go with praise because I think that's most likely correct. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Yeah, the fourth one is always so weird. Professor. Huh? Mm. <sighs> I dislike making eye contact when I'm talking, even when I'm talking to you. Okay, you're just gonna look away. But we have to observe you. Impressive. Okay, let's end this then. Thanks for your hospitality. I hope you'll invite me again sometime. All right, and that is gonna give him a charm value. Okay. He doesn't really use battalions because Pretty of his personal job, skill. I do say so. okay, we got a perfect thousand gold. That is definitely pretty amazing. I feel like I get it now. A lot of level ups. I think it's coming along. I suppose it's working. Warp on Manuela. That's amazing. This will help keep me alive. Technique never betrays. I can really do this. All right. Now we move on to the day. Uh, to Sunday. <laughs> uh, we could definitely take some certifications, actually, because a couple of my units are at level 20, where they could promote. So I'm definitely going to be going with that. And You've some of the units. Great service. Oh, yeah. I did complete that quest, so we got 400 points of renown. Also, we got a battalion. And also a tea leaf. Um, let's save over, over here. And let's go with the certifications because I just want to make sure that I don't fail. Manuela, I definitely want to make her a bishop. She can have double warp usage. Two warps is gonna be pretty nice. She just laughs like that. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Okay. What do you get? Well, I'm glad I passed. I mean you're the professor. Would be a shame if you wouldn't pass. Am I right? Uh, could go with Ingrid. Definitely can make her into a Wyvern Rider, but Axe rank is needed for that. Uh, so... Hmm. I can try my chance and see if the RNG works in my favor or not. But first of all, I'll do the ones which are 100%. So I could change up. Uh, I could promote uh, our boy Ignatz to Assassin and also to a Sniper, 69%. 69% chance of passing. I'll go with Assassin. He's definitely gonna pass this, of course. And... Now I hope he can get more strength level ups. Please give him strength. Come on. Yes. I can't believe I did it. Uh, who else is 100% guaranteed to pass? Sylvain... Can become a Paladin. Flane can also become a bishop, so I'll go with Flane. Because having double white magic is going to be good. She has 65% chance. I'll just save beforehand. Just want to be safe here. Uh, and not waste my advanced seals. Double white magic usage is pretty good. So definitely going to level up and promote my bishops, my healers first. 
And she's gonna pass because I saw the music notes. And I am gonna be doing her power log actually in another video. So it's a good thing that I promoted her. Now let's check for Ingrid. Definitely will save beforehand because she might fail. She only has 44% chance of passing. It really depends on the RNG here. Okay, let's see. Ingrid, please pass. Come on. Ah, uh, no, she's gonna fail. Next time. You said that last time too. But I just need to train you up in Axis then. Okay, let's go to our boy, Sylvain. Come on, man, you could do it. 75%. This is really good. Yep. He's gonna do it. Huh. Okay. No big deal, really. Yep, no big deal for our boy. Uh, who else? Mercedes is already promoted. Hanneman, Aloise, nope. Oh, Cyril, yeah, I can make him, uh, make him into a Wyvern Rider, so, I mean, let's do that. Finally, he's a Wyvern Rider. He has got the requirements done a long time ago, but he wasn't level 20. I passed. Got more strength. And I think, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was definitely a long exploration episode for this. I believe this is the last exploration before the time skip. I think. I could be wrong. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Emblem 3 Houses content. And please be sure to hit the notification bell and click on all so that you can always get the updates to my videos whenever I upload. Because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as Ingrid's chances of becoming a Wyvern Rider, it seems. <laughs> so with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.